by the winds, by the wind, but also by the rain. From the rain, it's coming from the top to the bottom, right? So you might see some lines, vertical lines. But when we have the erosion produced by the weather, right, it's a horizontal uh, uh, erosion that is happening, right? But all this material came from the top, right? So in the lab, under the microscope, you can see this even better. So you can see what kind of color and the rocks, small, big. So if we put this under the microscope, you won't see like this, like a small portion of sand. It will be like huge rocks where we are standing. Okay? So now we're gonna start our walk. We're gonna walk all the way up to the area and going straight to the other side of this island, which is called Cormoran Point, but there, the beach, it's not a green coloration. There, it's a organic sand beach. Once again, hopefully we can see some sea turtles basking in the sand. Ready to start the walk? Yeah. yeah. Okay, come on news. Let's wait for Grandma. where the other ones were first. So the idea is to not keep like a busy area for everyone, right? We're going to continue and then on the way back, we're going to be approaching to that area. Okay, so this is one of the famous areas to see the so pinky ring ring That's the reason that John was wearing the pinky shoes. Everyone's going to upload their photos to a, a cloud. They will have access to every photo that every family member takes. I thought you brought your underwater camera. No, I gave it to Amy because she's going deep um, water snorkeling. Oh. That's why I didn't think. The oh. other camera is about to die on me. Is there a charger poop point for that? I can charge stuff. Um, yeah, but I don't know how to open it. Okay. Well, why don't you bring me all the cameras today and I'll see if I can charge them. Yeah, one is about to die. Okay. No, two of them are about to die. It's the underwater snorkeling. Oh. Please don't do your famous. Look at that, so it looks all the flamingos out of the I know, water. this is my first time seeing flamingos. Oh, I have a lot between my, my toes. Yeah, so do and I. I'm going to change my shoes. I'm not. You have shoes? No, I truly didn't know it.
on? Yep. Okay, so this is a uh, Floriana Island. <coughs> Floriana Island is known because it was the first island to be inhabited in Galapagos. So the first person that came to live here was a pirate. He was uh, living here since uh, 1792 more or less. And he built like a kind of a small house in the northern area of Floriana. So right now we are in the other side of the island. So, but this area was also famous because all these people use these places as a viewpoint for them. So Floriana is keeping a very interesting history about whalers, buccaneers, pirates, because all of them came here. And they used post office, the area that we're gonna visit in the afternoon, they used as a post office, a real one for them. Because the people, the group of the families, there were three or four families living here, they have no any connection with the outside world. They were just living in a very remote area, right? So uh, when they want to have something to build their houses, so it means that they introduce a lot of wood, a lot of stuff here, they were uh, using the post office to wrote some letters, right? And when a boat reached the position, they collect those letters. And of course, after two or three years, so after they end up totally the ship, the journeys around the areas where they were going, that time a new ship comes, right? And they provide what they want, what the families living here were asking for. So it was mostly to build their houses. So these families were living separated. They weren't living together. By the way, they were having a big fight between them for the territories for the year. So, uh, as I told you before, they used the viewpoint not to see how it is like us right now, to see the flamingos. They were mostly to see the boats that were reaching the area to be the first ones to ask for what they really need to have during the stay. So at the beginning, these groups, well, there was one of these families that really want to build like a resort here. It was impossible. So the other families really moved out of Europe during the Second World War because what was happening there. So they really want to live alone. They want to keep in peace. 